Welcome to this Victory Friday edition of Eagles 360 presented by Xfinity. A true measure of the best players in the league is how they perform on the game's biggest stages. Defensive tackle Fletcher Cox was a monster Thursday night in the win over Atlanta and was not lost on head coach Doug Peterson as he recapped the game. Fletcher's a player that, uh, you know, uh, tremendous, tremendous player, I think. I think with the additions of, you know, Haloti Nada, Michael Bennett, uh, Derek Barnett in his second year, Chris Long. I, th I think, you know, having everybody on that D-line on that rotating basis keeps guys fresh and, and, and keeps a little pressure off of, of Fletcher just a little bit. And he he's a powerful, strong, powerful guy. And, and uh, you know, he took Mac the center one time and, and, and got up under his shoulder pad on a, on a move. And... Um, you know, got after the passer uh, and very disruptive, you know, in the pocket. And and um, those are those are things that you like to see from from your top players. Thursday night was a chance to relive some of the glory from the Super Bowl season. And Coach Pearson added to it by calling Philly Philly a play that the Patriots tried and failed against the Eagles in that championship game. Both Pearson and quarterback Nick Foles were on the same page when it came to the play call. Honestly, we were both thinking the same thing at the same time. Um, I went over there to talk to him and say this might be a good time, and he pointed to the call sheet, and I was like, that's what I was coming over here for. So it, uh, yeah, worked again. Hey, we needed a conversion, so I think that was a great call. Um, and, uh, you know, hey, if we got to do it again, we'll do it again. The J train made two stops in the end zone Thursday night as the Pro Bowl running back accounted for both of the Eagles' touchdowns. Coming into this game, that if we were able to dominate the line like, like we know we can, that we'd have a good day in our room. And I knew I would have a good day, um, you know, if I just stayed, you know, being myself and being a J train. So um, it was exciting to start the season off right. Thursday marked the first game ever for the Eagles as defending Super Bowl champions. It was also the first game for linebacker Jordan Hicks as a father. Jordan and his wife, Ivana, welcomed a baby boy, Avon, into the world last Friday. It was also Hicks' first game back since suffering an Achilles injury that cost him the second half of the 2017 season. Special man, really is. Uh, to become a father, um, bring a new perspective to playing a first game back off of season ending injury, off a tough year. For me personally, um, a lot of emotions that have gone into this week. Uh, but you know what? You know, I've got a great wife at home that has, has done an awesome job. We've got a great support system. Um, we've been here to help her out, help me out, and really allow me to focus on, on this game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be an awesome feeling going back for the first time to see my son and be able to hold him uh, after getting a win. Cornerback Ronald Darby was outstanding in coverage against all pro wide receiver Julio Jones, and his best play of the night was on the final one as he forced Jones out of bounds on what potentially could have been the game-winning touchdown. Darby gave the crowd an assist on the stop. It felt just like the playoffs again, like the atmosphere, like just the crowd, adrenaline, and like just making that play and just hearing the crowd go off. Like it was, it was, it felt great. I'm happy the season back, it felt good. The Eagles are off for the weekend, so make sure on Sunday to scout the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is Philly's opponent in Week 2. I'm Chris McPherson, and thank you all for joining us here on Eagles 360, presented by Xfinity.